Hello, friends. Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am your host, Tom Downey. You can follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for all of the latest around the Cowboys, which we have for you today. We're still waiting on Jason Garrett. Uh, it, it, at this point, it really feels like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day or I'm repeating the same day over and over again with no decision on Jason Garrett until I'm eventually driven insane. Kind of feels like what's going on here. So again, our update, unfortunately, is you don't really have one. Uh, the Cowboys have yet to announce their decision on Jason Garrett. They met on Monday. They met on Tuesday. Somehow, no decision has been made. Now, we have been told that Garrett's kind of expires on the 14th. There has been a couple of handful of reports that expires on Wednesday, but I believe the 14th is actually the correct date there. Either way, his contract is about to be up. You got to let him go. Make the decision. It is crazy to me that here we are. With well, a nine-year head coach has been to the playoffs three times. Just, just, just get it done with already. That's that's my mindset. It, it, it needs to change for the Dallas Cowboys. So at this point, just type in FG. Bonus points if, if you want to use the 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 clapper emoji. It, it is clear as day to me that Jason Garrett needs to be let go. So I want to see all of the FGs in the comments. If you're watching after this video is live, uh. Runtime ends. Scroll down to the pin comment. You might get an ad break here. That's our pin comment. Just put your FGs right there. Again, like it's it's not hard. Like this should be a really easy decision. It has been this for years now. The the Cowboys are not going to get it done with Jason Garrett. They're simply not. It's not good enough. Eight and eight. Their best year was 13-3, and three and they didn't win anything in the playoffs because they went one and done after getting a bye. 10-6, and six, they won the one game. The Cowboys had a really good team. Really good team this year. And just like it was with Wade Phillips and Bill Parcells and oh, Dave Campo, bad. Chan Gailey, didn't work out. Now, you know, is Jason Garrett better than Dave Campo and Chan Gailey and maybe even Wade Phillips? I certainly think so. Is he the coach for the Cowboys right now? No. It's not going to work. So we're trying to figure out, right, why there's been no decision. So we'll go through some of the theories I've seen in the comments on YouTube, on Twitter, from others. First up, what about a front office role? Could that be what's going on here? It makes some sense, right? It allows Jerry to keep Jason Garrett in the family. And if we are truly being honest and going beyond just the fire Garrett, which I get you guys don't want to do that, and understandably so, Garrett is a good evaluator of personnel. He's done a good job of that for the most part, but he's not going to job done as the head coach. There's been Twitter speculation, but here's the thing. Does Jason Garrett want that? He's a coach. Does he want to be a front office member? And then most importantly, you can't give him actual actual power. You can't do that. Because he's not better than what you have right now. I don't want to take power away from Will McClay. I know many of you want a real GM. In reality, folks, and I'm going to keep hammering this one home until we all learn to accept it and appreciate it, Will McClay is your GM. Now, if you want to fire McClay, that's fine, but every, every comment I've seen about a real GM is in the context of Jerry Jones. Jerry holds the title, but Clay's your VP of player personnel. He runs your draft. He is one of the most powerful voices within the organization when it comes to that. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. He's been around the NFL and coaching for a while now. He's good at what he does. Steven Jones runs your money. Jerry's your PR and your final decider. The issue is he's having a tough time making this decision, which at some point will happen. Now, when it does happen, we'll be live. So turn on those notifications. We will be live as soon as we possibly can be once it happens. Got everything ready to go. We're just waiting. The whole world's waiting on a Jason Garrett firing. If you want some coaching replacements, I see somebody putting those in the comments. Check the channel. We got a whole bunch of those out there. Once it was officially done, hey, we'll have a whole lot more as well. Speaking of replacements, theory number two is what if the Cowboys are blocking the Giants from Jason Garrett? They've been connected before, right? Kind of makes some sense. Jerry likes Jason Garrett, thinks he's a good coach, doesn't want him to go to a division rival. It's understandable. And remember, he loved Tony Romo and managed to not let Romo go play elsewhere. There's some manipulating and some CBS stuff. The issue is for me, this isn't doing right 
by Jason Garrett. Holding on to Garrett and then dumping him and not letting the Giants hire him? That's, that's not doing right by Garrett. The Giants, meanwhile, are underway in their coaching search. Chris Richard, one of them. Josh McDaniels, Don Martindale, Eric Bieniemy, Then also Matt Rule, who I think might be the favorite for the Giants, see if they can actually get him. Mike McCarthy and Joe Judge. Frankly, Jason Garrett would be an upgrade for the New York Giants. Crazy, right? But it's Pat Shermer. Garrett's better than Pat Shermer. Maybe that's what Jerry wants. I just, I think Jerry also wants to do right by Garrett, and that's not doing right by him in the end. Now, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code COWBOYS120 for a 120% deposit bonus. That's chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120. All right, theory number three. Keeping him. Dylan's upset. I don't think this is happening. I, I would be so stunned if this happened. It just seems impossible to believe. Now, I understand that many of you are, like, freaking out because there's uncertainty, right? You're like, oh, God, what if Jerry could actually do it, right? I don't think it, I don't think it happens. I will be so surprised. There's, there's just no way it happens. It's time. Garrett knows it's time. I think Jerry Jones knows it's time. He doesn't want to believe it. But for whatever reason, I haven't made the decision yet. Like... Time. There's, there is no justifiable reason out there for keeping Jason Garrett. I know Jerry's loved him for a long time. It's time. It's time to make the move and dump Garrett. So if they do keep him, A, we're going to riot, okay? We're going to be pissed. We're, no one's going to be happy. We're all going to be angry. So what will you, you do if the Cowboys keep Jason Garrett, as, of course, the head coach, that's the context of which we're, what we're talking about here, what will you do? Will you will you stop being a Cowboys fan? I, I think so. Billy says he's, he's going to leave. I don't blame you. I understand it. Good news is I don't think that happens. Now, that was the bad side. Here's your optimistic viewpoint. Well, what if they already have somebody? But And, and, and I firmly believe this. Behind the scenes and quietly, the search is on. And I think the Cowboys, because they're not that stupid, any good front office has a list of coaches that they want. Surely the Cowboys have that list. We'll see how long it is. And remember this too. The Cowboys target list isn't the same as the Redskins list. It's not the same as the Giants or Panthers list or the Browns list. Frankly, the Cowboys list has better names on it. Because this is still the Dallas Cowboys. This is one of the best jobs, if not the best jobs, in all of football. There's plenty of money to go around with Jerry Jones. He'll pay for good assistant coaches. He will be supportive of you as a head coach, as he's shown with Jason Garrett over and over again. The problem is with this theory is that what's the benefit of waiting to let go of Jason? Why wouldn't you make this decision publicly announce your search and do stuff and get stuff done. I don't see the benefit of taking this route of, hey, they already have someone. Well, then just be done with it. That That's that's the confusing thing to me. I hope that the search is on my scenes. I think it is, but I just don't know what it is here in the end. So let me know in the comments, who do you guys want as the next Cowboys head coach? I love you all very much here. Damn, do we have some dumb ideas in the comments. Guys, stop saying Jimmy Johnson. You are all boomers, those of you who say Jimmy Johnson. It is not 1999 anymore. Also, Tony Romo, he ain't coming. Got the best job in the world. He's not coming here to come be a coordinator. You don't want him as a head coach. Like he's never done anything as a coach. So, those options, new rule. And Dylan, don't you dare bring them because I know you're going to. No coaches if they haven't coached in the past 10 years. That's that's not too much to ask. That's pretty simple, okay? Just keep that in mind. All right, some potentially good news here as we talk more about the coaching staff. Keith O'Quinn, probably not going to be back as special teams coach. I don't see any way in which he is. And before you freak out, per Mike Fisher, the Cowboys could move Keith O'Quinn into a scouting role. And I know that makes you freak out. Take a deep breath here. Keith O'Quinn was a scout before he was a coach. 
and you never heard a, a thing about him until the Cowboys made him a special teams coach. So I don't have much of an issue here with Keith O'Quinn going back to a scouting role. Just get him out of the damn special teams coaching job because he's horrible at it. It's not working. Keith O'Quinn absolutely has to go. He cannot be your special teams coach going forward. If you want to let him go be a pro scout or a whatever the, the scouting role you pick for him, that's fine. Let me see some FOQs for fire Keith O'Quinn in the comments section. Or just Fs too. That, that works as well. Like, it's not, he ain't it. You, frankly, I don't know why you didn't fire him mid-year. You could have brought, you, you could have let anybody coach special teams. It couldn't have been much worse. So, I used to type FOQs in here. He has to go. And the good news is, I don't think he's going to be back as the Cowboys special teams coach next year. If he wants to hang out as the, as the assistant or as the scout, sure, it's fine. Let's talk schedule now for the Dallas Cowboys. The 2020 opponents have been revealed. We'll break them down, talk about it here. The opponents' jobs. The opponents for home games, excuse me. The Giants, the Eagles, Redskins. Duh, right? The Arizona Cardinals, also a home opponent this season. You would think that would be a win, right? Other home opponents, the Falcons, the Browns, the Steelers, and the number one seed in the NFC, the San Francisco 40. Niners. Now, the road opponents, once again, Giants, Eagles, Redskins. And this is where it gets a little tough because you've got a, a uh, playoff team in the Eagles. The Ravens are a playoff team. They won the AFC regular season. They have the, the number one seed. Then you've got the lowly Bengals. Maybe I'll go to that game, by the way, because uh, I'm from Cincinnati. My dad will probably go to it. The Rams, they were almost a playoff team. The Vikings and Seahawks were wild cards, but still they were the playoff teams in the or war among the playoff teams in the NFC. So in total reminder, you play the AFC North, that is the Bengals, Browns, Steelers, Ravens, the NFC West, the Rams, Seahawks, Cardinals, 49ers. In totality, you play six playoff teams in the or in 2020 or in 2020 from the 2019 season and the Rams were almost there. So I already saw someone say the NFL it's the Cowboys guys, the schedule sets or cuz this is how it works, all right? You rotate your AFC opponents, rotate your NFC. You also play the number two teams from the NFC that you don't already play. So the Cowboys schedule there. Disappointing year, but everyone in the comments, I'm sure I already see some of you guys predicting it. What will the Cowboys record be in 2020? I see some 10 and 6s. I don't want to make my prediction, frankly. I got to know who the head coach is. I got to know what this roster looks like. You're going to have an off-season of change. So I, I am very curious to see what it all looks like. I see 10 and 6s, 9 and 7s. Glad to see there's some, some optimism there, some 7 and 9s coming in. All depends on the on the head coach. Billy D says, with Garrett, 8 and 8, without 11 and 5. Yeah, you're probably, you might not be all that off base in the end. Now, you can, of course, bet on all the Cowboys games in 2020, bowl games right now. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120 for 120% deposit bonus. That's Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120 for 120% deposit bonus. You guys are not going to find a better betting deal out there than the one on BetDSI. Again, that is Chatsports.com slash bet. That promo code, Cowboys120. All right, to wrap up the news here, some futures deals were signed. For the most part, players who were on the Cowboys practice squad, they've reached out and, and gotten deals to promote them from or for the active roster here. First up is Jordan Chung, the uh, second-year player out of, or, uh, out of Troy, once again back on the practice squad. Cowboys looking for special teams. He's not going to be a big impact guy. Daniel Wise is next up here. He was a rookie, undrafted free agent. I am told the Cowboys about a fourth-round grade on. Ended up getting him as UDFA. I think they want to make him into the new Tyrone Crawford. He spent this year on the practice squad. Of all the guys we're going to talk about, he's the one you should be watching out for to see if they're able to make a move here and get him on the roster next year. All right, next up, Cole 
Picatinny, a tight end, spent 2018 on the Cowboys or on the uh, Vikings practice squad, spent this year on the Cowboys practice squad, some maybe uh, depth at tight end, but I don't think he's going to make the roster. DJ White was picked up after the Cowboys lost Michael Jackson to the Detroit Lions, spent some time with the Falcons and, of course, the Colts, as you can see. Also spent the rest of the end of this season on the Cowboys practice squad. The same is true, a common theme here, for one Marcus Henry. He was picked up if the Cowboys had a, a big-time rash of injuries on the offensive line. They picked him up. A Boise State guy because the Cowboys love those. He spent this season on the practice squad as well. Then finally, Tevin Jones, who was most with the Steelers practice squad this year at the very end of the year uh, God, what was it? Less than two weeks ago, he was actually added uh, when the when the Steelers waived him the Cowboys picked him because he briefly made it to the active roster, was then waived, then the Cowboys picked him up he spent this year in the practice squad again I don't think he does much of anything Chiefs Texans background as well has four career catches for 61 yards Reminder guys Please subscribe to us here on YouTube. We are still waiting the future of Jason Garrett. We'll have the update on that coming up in just a second. But we will be live once the Cowboys finally fire or do not retain head coach Jason Garrett. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news. Rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.